why do we say that heat can travel through vacuum? While heat is the kinetic energy of atoms, and radiation itself is just electromagnetic radiation, which to be generated doesn't necessarily require heat. I don't say that heat travels through vacuum. I don't know who says that. I'm sure people say that. People say all kinds of things. What travels through vacuum is radiation. Electromagnetic radiation, like you say. There's, there are other forms of radiation as well. There is actually something called gravitational radiation, gravitational waves. Uh, so, so what we what happens? Let's take the case of the sun. We look at the sun. When the sun rises, we feel hot, right? We feel the heat. So people say that the sun is all these eight light minutes away. Yeah? And yet, from that far away, it's giving us heat. That's what we sense. That's what we feel. What really happens is that the sun gives off electromagnetic radiation in the form of photons, light waves, photons, wave particle duality, photons or light waves. These photons or these light waves, whatever you want to call it, they carry a certain amount of energy, right? E equals H nu in case you know. So based on the frequency of the light, there is a certain amount of energy associated with it. This energy this radiation travels through vacuum. It's just radiation. It's just bundles of energy. Once these photons, once this radiation reaches the earth, it interacts with the molecules in the atmosphere, goes through that, it heats up the atmosphere, right? Because molecules absorb this energy, they vibrate, and they give off, give off something that we perceive as heat. Similarly, much of this radiation makes its way through the atmosphere and it's incident on our body, on our skin, on rocks, on vegetation, etc. And all of these atoms and molecules absorb the energy, give it off in certain wavelengths and also give off infrared radiation that we perceive as light. As, as light. So that is how the process roughly, roughly, I'm giving you a very rough <laughs> outline of what happens. Yeah, but that's how it is. So it's not heat that's traveling in the vacuum of space. It is photons. It is uh, electromagnetic radiation that's traveling. And when it reaches the planet Earth and re it reaches Earth, us, that's when it interacts with the atmosphere and all the substances on the planet and gives off what we call heat. 